What's up, nerdlings? Yo, nerdlings. Do you nerd for? Mail and mail. All right, nerdlings, what you see before you is a box from our buddy James of Retro Pixel here on YouTube. And he said that he had some stuff that he wanted to send our way. And I kept telling him, you don't need to. And he's like, no, no, he goes, this, this is just some kind of all over the place stuff. And if anyone's gonna collect it, it's gonna be us. Well, Cause I think we're a little bit eclectic. <laughs> so guys, first of all, Retro Pixel is a very fine channel. One of the things that he does the most, and I love watching it, are his pickups because he's always out checking out all kinds of stores and everything. One of the reasons I like pickup videos is because it gives me an idea of what I should be keeping an eye out whenever we go out hunting. Now, I think all of the uh, stuff going on in the world lately has slowed some of that down, but hopefully he can get back out there and hunt some more. Hopefully we can get back out there and Yes, hunt some more. well, I mean, Anybody I wanna find us there. good stuff, but I wanna see the good stuff that we're missing out on. All right. Are you ready to see what he ready. packed? Ready. Oh, there's a note. Right, right on note. top. Nothing special, just some random clutter came across a basement cleanout, as well as a small taste of Canada. Enjoy. James Retro Pixel. Nothing special. Come on. We collect everything and everything special. Yep. So we definitely appreciate this. One man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> well, something for the ladies with the toys. Sweet! <laughs> we got Arnold the Terminator here. These are some retro toys. Now, you're just a small Arnold fan, just right? Just a small. I mean... Arnold, I can honestly say Arnold was my first crush I ever had. Oh, ooh. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with Arnold when I was probably about five years old and have, as long as I can remember, have been obsessed with the Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer movies. And I probably shouldn't have been allowed to watch them at that <laughs> young age. But my dad enjoyed them too. But I think there was something else in that movie that he rather enjoyed more than Arnold. <laughs> Tom, you can't put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a very this cool figure cool because one. he's got some uh, battle got, damage. He does have some battle damage. So you got the very classic like side of his face being destroyed and everything, but then you've got like a lot of chest being shown there. So that's really cool. Well, there's something for the gentlemen too. We've got Laura Croft. That is a cool Laura Croft figure. Now this one's very interesting. She's got a little bit of a preset pose. Do so you think maybe she was on like a platform or something? She could have been. She definitely has the peg holes that look like she would have a base to stand on. And the interesting thing is her shirt is molded. It's part of the toy, but her shorts and her holsters <laughs> are like fabric which is kind of neat that's interesting and she even has a gun already on hand nice i will say um she looks like she's had a bad lip job done though i think she got a little too much botox maybe the uh croft family fortune went to her head well it went somewhere <laughs> whoa that's good squishy now this is an epic showdown Get back! I'm the Terminator. You could like throttle her. Oh like, gosh, <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> well, it's like right in the ring. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna do my impression. The Rock does <laughs> sex. <laughs> Thank you. I, I do find it very strange that her top and backpack are plastic, but yet her holsters and pant are fabric. That is very strange. She's got some articulation, like in the shoulders, 
Like her arms will move, you know, around and up and down, but like not at the elbows or wrists. And she's very look proper British with her pinky out. Oh, I don't know. I I just thought she was doing the thing to make you look so she could sock you in the oh. shoulder. I suppose you think that was terribly clever. What else we got in there? Ooh, Ooh. What is that? Well, she's pretty cool that looking. That is really cool looking. She almost looks like those brat dolls. There is a series of toys, or at least there was, sometime in the 2000s. They were called like uh, living dead dolls. Feel like I remember seeing those in the stores, mm -hmm. but I think I came across them online when I was trying to actually find a cover of the Rob Zombie song, Living Dead Girl. And this is kind of what that makes me think of because she has that very goth look to her. She almost looks like a goth version of Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, because that's a good description. That hair across one eye, you know, the rather voluptuous chest and rear end and then she's got that hourglass figure going on there you know the long legs she's got a belly button ring she's really really cool looking yeah that is a very cool figure that'll be a fun display piece i like how her dress is spilling out onto the floor and also making it the stand yes it's very clever to do it that way good use well if there are more of this line we may have to look into that we and see if there's to. anyone else you want to add to it mm-hmm <laughs> nice! Lady Lacey is not fully familiar with Final Fantasy VII mm -mm. as her introduction to it was the remake. So we did not get to this fine fellow yet, but this is Sid Highwind. Now in the original Final Fantasy VII, he had the airship. Ah! She's a beaut. My Shara, the latest model. I'll give you the grand tour after. This is very cool. Of course, we like our Final Fantasy stuff. Our stuff from Seven, especially. So this is really fun to have in the collection. I also really like nerdy keychains because they make amazing Christmas ornaments. Yes, they do. You Love know, it. for being the age that it is, he's got a lot of detail in there. I mean, he's got like a little cigarette in his mouth. Got a uh, grin face. Well, this is also a very iconic stance for him, too. Is it? They lifted this straight from the artwork of the character. It's really, I mean, like there's even a patch on his jacket. I mean, they did it. A lot of times back in the day, they just kind of, you know, molded something and they didn't really do a whole lot. So I'm really impressed. Here, you want to hang on to him? There's a button. A button. Looks like we got some anime action here. We always like our buttons. You could put those anywhere if you don't want to put them on like your jacket or something. Uh, uh, backpacks. Backpacks, purses. Walls, shelving units, because you can kind of stick that metal in there if you've just got some fabric that you want to hang on the wall. If you don't want to mess up the wall, hang it on the fabric. And then a couple of games right here. Aladdin Aladdin. for the Game Gear, nice. which interestingly enough, we had learned that this isn't even a port. Oh. It is its own game, which nice. is very cool. <laughs> and Meet the Robinsons on Game Boy Advance. Now, did you ever watch that movie? Nope. It's a pretty nifty little time travel movie yeah. that Disney did, although I don't think it really did very well. I never hear people talk about it. The boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Denture ice molds. That is hilarious. I am a huge fan of these like fun, quirky ice molds because I actually, instead of doing it with ice, I put chocolate in here. I get chocolate melts and I fill them up and I make fun goofy nerdy chocolates. <laughs> of course, even as ice, this is pretty funny because you, you know, put your dentures in the water <laughs> overnight to you know soak them and clean them. oh my gosh you're 
You've you've put your teeth in my water glass. You're gonna make people think that Grandma left her teeth in someone's drink. I am because you can get colored chocolate melts. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, that's fun. We can I have some fun with this. I don't think he even knew that you collected. I don't molds, think so. I have a, so that's perfect. I have a ton of these <laughs> under the cabinet, and I don't have teeth yet, so that'll be fun. Oh, we got another game. Looks like this one's in the box Ooh. with everything. So yeah, the booklets, looks like a little poster nice. and the cartridge itself. And this is for backyard hockey. Now, you know, some of these backyard games can be a lot of fun. I remember a series on, I thought it was like the consoles, like maybe PS2. And it's very interesting because the characters are kind of, uh, they're like cutesy. So it's not uber realistic, hmm. but it has more of that, almost like an arcade vibe to it. Fun. And hey, who didn't play ice hockey on the NES to know how fun a good simple hockey game can be? Because on that one, you had two choices. You could be the fat guy or the skinny guy. Skinny guys were fast. Fat guys could not knock those guys around. <gasps> but We got some Mario nice. toys. I believe that these were from Happy Meals. I gotta get to the superstar. Woo! Woo, close one. Hey, Luigi, have you seen the superstar? Try Peach's castle. Hey, Peach. Hi. Got the superstar. Now I'm invincible. Hi, Yoshi. Great job, Mario. Now I can get a Super Mario toy in every Happy Meal. I don't remember if we got the piranha plant or not. Well, it's up to you if you want to start opening these. Yeah, let's go for it. Hi guys! <laughs> I feel it's like so me, a Mario in a chair. I feel like this is something that we're gonna see at the Universal Park. Oh, a Game Boy game as well. Monster Truck Wars. He is totally beefing up our handheld wow, collection. Wow, he is, yeah. And I love it because... You got some cases to make. I didn't play a whole lot of handheld games, so these are all new to me. So this is awesome. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it, I thought it was just Scooby-Doo, but no, there's like Scooby-Doo and the chick from... What was her name? <laughs> Judy. Judy. We got Tom and Jerry, Batman, Bugs Bunny. I'm not gonna mess that up because I can never do these things. <laughs> you don't want to try the Rubik's no. Cube? But they're fun cartoon faces. They'll mess it up and then it'll never go back to the way it's supposed to be. What on? Oh, they're key toppers. How cute. They're robots. Let me unlock your front door. I can unlock your front door. <laughs> I am a robot. Do what I say. <laughs> they seem like they're rubberized. Yeah, they are rubberized. So it's not going to like dig into your No, and you actually that'll probably be pocket. nicer because if you put them on there, the keys might not jangle as much. Got a little baggy here with all kinds of stuff looks like uh almost like some some cards so we got ryu, ryu and it tells how to do his moves Which on I could never do. marvel versus capcom 3. Uh, they're, stickers. they're stickers yeah nice That's cool. oh and look even the ryu part is a sticker so their name and their person is a sticker and if you're doing marvel versus capcom it doesn't get more stereotypical than Ryu versus Wolverine. Hadouken! Hadouken! Yeah, Hadouken be all you want, bub. 
Shuriken. Berserker Barrage. Ah! Tornado Claw. Drill Claw. Yeah, Hadouken. Fatal Claw. <laughs> <laughs> The last one in there, though, I think you're really going to like. Oh, I can Because see it. it's Dante from Devil May Cry. And Deadpool! <laughs> is it one sticker? Yep, it's one sticker, so you can't separate them, but that's okay. That is cool. Oh, nice. We get Happy Trigger. <laughs> Katana Rama! And then we get Crystal Jetstream Jam Session Killer B. Ooh, that sounds bad. Level And it's a This is a And a nice Serious Sam sticker. Boom! Shakalaka. Okay, I found the candy treats. Oh. So this is Smarties. interesting. He sent us two boxes of Smarties, but these they are from like Nestle. So these say candy coated milk chocolate. I'm guessing kind of like an M&M. Mm -hmm. But yeah, here in the States, we have a line of candy called Smarties. And how would you even describe those things? Basically like flavored sugar pressed into a pill form. All I know is in school they made for excellent hockey pucks, you know, using those and as the pucks. How many times did you get? And then your pins. Detention for that. I didn't. We weren't dumb. We didn't get caught. <laughs> You're only in trouble if you get caught. Gotcha. I'm in trouble. Well, we do. Don't mind if I do. We do like our treats. Well, they're definitely M and M colors, but they're kind of bigger and flatter, so they look almost like sprees. Yeah, those are good. They, uh, I mean, to me, they do taste like M&M's, but with that Nestle chocolate, mm -hmm. you can always kind of tell like certain chocolates, the Nestle, the Palmer, Hershey, Cadbury. Yeah. So I like that. Nice. Very crunchy. I'm going to have to uh, think of something different whenever I talk about Smarties now. Oh, I know. Okay. Oh, oh. One last thing in the box. It's all bubble wrapped. Hey, Jen. Look what we got. Look at how nicely wrapped this is. Well done. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was smart. He put it in a plastic bag. Yes, in case anything happened, yeah. it wasn't going to get all over everything else. That was very intelligent. I feel like we could learn a thing or we two could. from that. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Mus okay, I'm probably going to butcher this and I apologize. Muskoka Brewery Unfiltered Shinnicked Stout. Oh, look. Oh, he's cold. <laughs> he's very cold. Shinnicked is that numbing, gasp for breath feeling when you plunge into a Muskoka lake for a chilly late night dip. To warm you up afterward, we created this rich, velvety stout infused with Muskoka Roastery's signature Lumberjack Roast Coffee. Check your date code as our beer is best fresh, a result of pure, natural, unfiltered brewing process. This is going to be very interesting to try because, I mean, we have a lot of fun with like the coffee stouts. Mm -hmm. They're always fun to try. And knowing that we've got a bunch of friends who love their stouts. Captain Algebra, BK, the Got G boys. So we are going to have to do our best to spread the word to them on the Muskoka Brewery Schnicked Stout. Now this does not seem to have any serving suggestions. So what we're going to do is hand it over to future Tom and Lacey, who are going to tell us all about it while we put this in the fridge and let it chill and hopefully they remember to let it breathe for a little bit before trying it. Oh, hey, thanks, past Tom. You know, once in a while, you're all right. <laughs> okay, so uh, Muskoka Brewery, we have let it sit in the fridge for a couple of days. We open it up, let it breathe just enough to let that head die down and- It's dark. 
Ooh, holy dark. cow. Oh, man. I gotta say, thank you, but you might have sent this to the wrong yeah. people because this already... Oh, this so seems up BK's Alley or Cap's <laughs> Alley especially. Ooh. Oh, wow, that is very mild. Yeah. All right, not at the beginning, more in the finish. I get more of the coffee flavor. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why I was surprised by how mild it was because I'm thinking coffee, I'm thinking a lot of bitter tones and everything, but it starts very smooth. It's almost like, uh, like a cold brew to me, like a cold brew that you've not put any cream or sugar in. Is it kind of nutty? A little bit. There's, uh, I don't know. It might just be like the the effervescence to me. That's that's getting me. Maybe. Wow. The fact that it has such a similarity to me to a cold brew, mm -hmm. like it a cold like brew coffee. <laughs> I'm not typically a fan of stouts in warmer weather, and I'm trying this in the summertime. When it's hot. But this, <laughs> actually, I could drink this. This is pretty because good. it's like a cold coffee to me. Uh -huh. Wow. All right, you know what? I got that shinnick feel, definitely. Got the Wolverine feel. I, I guess so. <laughs> but this is a very good. Okay, rich, velvety stout. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I can get that velvety, yeah. smooth texture. Man, you guys have got some good stouts up in Canada. Well, it's cold. <laughs> they, you know what you're doing. Well. <laughs> Thank you very much. I guess we should pass this back to uh, past Tom and Lacey so they can finish this whole thing. Too bad they didn't get to drink this. Yeah, well, we finish this whole thing. <laughs> Bye, past guys. Well, this was a fun box to this go through. This was a bunch of First weird First of all, stuff. James, thank you so much for sending us this stuff. You definitely didn't have to, but it really feels like you have our number with the stuff you said. Trying a beer that obviously we can't probably find in our area, trying some fun new candies, and then just all the eclectic collectibles. I mean, it's yes. so up our alley. The game stuff makes sense, but then him like sending the uh, the mold, yep. sending the art old figure, the, that is so that good. That is good, yes. That's awesome. It's amazing fun toys and stuff to play with. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you again so much, yes, James. Thank you. Nerdlings. Please hit that link down in the description below to check out Retro Pixel and watch for what he's picking up out there. He collects a lot of stuff just like us, so that's what makes his videos so much fun, always seeing what he's looking for. Now, it's time for you. Leave some comments down below on what you think of any of this, about any of the games, the toys. Maybe you little, know a little more about her than we obviously do, or maybe you have been lucky enough to try Muskoka Brewery or you want to tell me in the comments, Tom, stop butchering the name. It's not called Muskoka. It's pronounced. <laughs> Feel free to give the video a like if you happen to like it. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell because you never know what we're going to be doing next. And if someone's nice enough to send us a mail mail, we're going to be calling them out because you're too kind to be thinking of us. Take care of those other nerdlings first. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to TeePublic because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it... We nerd it for a little bit of everything. Look, she's even got the, uh, the wave going. Bye. Bye. Arnold's got himself a date. I'm glad they put their differences aside. You don't understand. I've come from the future to help you raid tombs. We're going to reboot your franchise. It's going to be bigger and better than ever. Angelina Where? Jolie will no longer play you in the movies. And my reboot killed my franchise. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye. I hit the dog again. <laughs> of course. These almost look like the sixlets kind of thing, except sixlets are round. These are kind of smushed. Never mind. Cut that out. Get a smush like an M&M. I know. That's why I said never mind. Cut that out. Because we are going to time travel. 
I don't know where I'm, I, I never know how to do this because it's like I know we're gonna put it in later but you know obviously he's got just about an eclectic of an interest as us he's got just about a very he collects a lot of stuff just like us 